Banana. <laughs> we are ready. <laughs> <That hurts. laughs> It's a beautiful chilly morning in Musenberg and Mara and I have come to the Mask Theatre to do a very unique Airbnb experience with Colleen von Staden. We are in the dressing room, we are actually leaving the dressing room and we're going about to go into the green room to go and have our coffee. We're going to be an actor for a day. So I really look forward to this. I have not really much idea what to expect except that we had to prepare an audition. This was us last night. Taming my wild heart to thy loving hand and much ado about nothing is actually quite funny and there's a piece written here for Beatrice. The cat seems very interested. <laughs> well, if you're my <laughs> audience, <laughs> my god. Oh, oh. I really like that I ate the divorce papers. Let's be an actor for a day at the Mask Theatre oh, in Musenberg, Cape Town. <laughs> This is my dear, dear bestie friend. So we've known each other for over 33 years. We met through the mask. Yes, I know, I believe it. It's true. We met through the mask and um, we have directed together, we have acted together. Yeah. What do you call it? Uh, yes, this is Dean. And you met Dean. But I want to just introduce so Aubrey is one of the stalwarts of the mask theatre and has been performing here for 120 odd years. Now yeah, we're moving on to Barry. Barry has also been involved with this theatre for many years. Barry is a director, a set designer, an actor, a costume designer of note. Wears many hats, he including the one he's wearing he now. He loves his hat. <laughs> Mr. Wayne. Hi, hello. <laughs> who is also an actor of note. This is my ninth year doing shows at the Mars Theatre. And right up you. there. <laughs> but we're going to meet two more people. How are you? I'm Mark Wilkes and I am currently the interim theatre manager. Ashley yeah. Bookings Administrator. Fantastic. We're going to kick off with coffee in the green room, which I'll take you all through to in a moment. That's the waiting room for actors. We'll do a couple of simple exercises, get to know each other a bit. And then we will do a quick tour of the theatre. There's a kind of lounge or waiting area for their actors who sit here getting ready to go on and it's called the green room. So um, some people say it's because originally the rooms were painted green. Oh, I know very little about acting. I'm just an incredibly gifted actor. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> <laughs> okay, acting is not a state of being. But a state of appearing to be. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, hello, I'm Misty. Kept on tourism as well. Here to launch my career in acting and then close it as well, close the loop. <laughs> it's gonna be one day, one glorious day. <laughs> do what you have to do for you, Johnny Depp. The most exciting acting tends to be the roles you never thought you could play. I think that. All forms of acting um, would actually start in theatre. It's where I actually experienced watching plays, and that's where my imagination would run wild. The mask was built uh, 20 years ago um, for the use of for the local area, and up here you can go up into the wardrobe if you want, but it's it's a bit of a, a, a nasty set of staircases. So that's where all our costumes and props are kept. Oh, for once in my life, I really am much taller than you. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yes! Um, you know, in the time of music hall and vaudeville, actors would arrive at a, 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 a theatre like this on any given day when there was a variety show that night, and they would come with their act. Mm. Their talking dog, their ventriloquist dummy, their turn, their trick and they would come to the stage door, all of them, so it could be a hundred performers for a, a production that only required 50. And if you were lucky enough, and I'll tell you, these black things that hang here that you can see there, that black curtain that hangs mm -hmm. down, they're called legs. And if you were lucky enough to get a job that day, you actually broke the leg. 
you came mm. through from the backstage, so you broke the leg and you got onto the stage. Mm. And so you say to actors now, break a leg. You want them to be able to perform and make a success of it. So we're off to our rehearsal room, which is in Palmer Road in Musenburg Village. Into the train station we go. Now we're off to a rehearsal studio to go do our auditions for a theatre piece that we will be doing as a group. None of us know what we'll be performing, but uh, we'll all get our part and it's going to be a load of fun. Think about where that breathing is currently sitting. In a relaxed state, in our normal day-to-day -day doings, our breathing pretty much sits up in the upper chest area. Oh my God! Let's exaggerate the words. So, um, um, but now, I you say it as well as oh, yeah. banana. Banana. Crazy. Crazy. She uses every bit of her face, and that's what expression. Look at that now. That's what expression is all about. So, uh, Right is which side? Correct. Right. Oh, no. So he sends me this picture of himself and in big black letters on the back. Here, show my son what his daddy looks like. If A, we never had a serious marriage, then B, we can't have a serious divorce. If you only knew how wretched I am, your coldness terrifies me. I can't believe it. The whole thing's a farce, Charles. A farce that tastes good with ketchup. So what am I doing here, Audrey? I'm not passionate. I'm a fact checker for to Christ's sake. I would never ask him to sign his name to a piece of paper proposing just to turn off his feeling for me forever. <laughs> I'm glad you're early too, I, I, but sort of, but I was I was hoping to beat you, no, that didn't come out right, I was hoping to, to beat you here, let's say we're dying. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got different interpretations of our eighth divorce papers, each one so brilliantly done. Everybody's having a good laugh, uh, we all had to do an audition piece which was really fun. Um, Colleen's now doing a casting from our auditions and she's going to uh, put us into different roles in a theatre show that we will be doing in front of a live audience a little bit later today. So this is like the full package of um, rehearsing, auditioning, you know, breathing exercises, the works. Uh, it's really, really well put together. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. You can play, you can act. About, um, this chap George who picks up girls. He's a kind of small life of his own. So he's in his own picture in the gallery. Oh, it's all yours. Here we go. Okay. The part of George, the man in the picture, is Dean. Yay, Dean! I am George. <laughs> part of Mary is Linda. Mary's friend is Georgia. Visitors to the gallery are Aubrey and Amber. Monologues, Esti, Tombi, and Tamara. So we've all been cast. I am George, which is the, the guy in the art painting. We've done a read through or two with everybody. And now we're going over to the theatre to have some lunch. And then we're going to block it, uh, meaning place it on stage and find our places where we're going to do our lines from. We do get to read it because it's very short notice, but um, it's going to be a lot of fun to, to be able to do a play that you just got the script for in front of a live audience in like an hour's time. How long will you be on display? This is my last night, but I am hoping to be in other galleries though. That was our first rehearsal blocking run through. Um, I'm not going to show you any more until it's the real show. Bye. 20 minutes later. We are ready. We are in the green room. We are ready to go. 
Um, I think nerves are pretty good. Like, nobody's freaking out. Excited more than nervous. I think uh, Colleen did a good job of getting us all ready and prepared. I'm going to introduce you to Tamara. I ate them because I couldn't stomach the thought of losing you. It's 11 p.m., bro. Listen to me, please. Take your eyes off the screen and just listen to me. Hey, hey, Sydney. Hey, uh, um, I'm early. I mean, I'm, I'm full and, and, I'm, also, and I'm early. Um, I'm glad you're early too. Well, well, sort of. I was hoping to beat you. I mean, not beat you. I was hoping to beat you here. I ate those divorce papers. I ate them because I can't stomach the thought of losing you. <laughs> well, I've never seen anything like it. Then you haven't been out much. What? Look, we are trying to be nice. Because you pity me. Well, that's what you want, isn't it? How do you know what I want? You got another number, didn't you? Not my favorite. I don't know. There's something about him. <laughs> That was that. Done. Finished. Curtain. Down. How did that feel? Yo, it felt great, but it was, oh, I was a bit nervous, but then it was great. The audience. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. Awesome. How are you guys feeling? Professional. Professional. Accomplished. We charge now. We're going to be like, screen yeah. actor skill. Is that, is that the thing that we yeah. have here now? Yeah. We have the thing. <laughs> How did you feel? Uh, it was so much fun. Yes, felt very nervous, but it was good once we got started. <laughs> yeah, cool. Wow. What, what, what I can say was it's an amazing experience. Uh, a little nerve-wracking at first, but you realize you don't have to be afraid of just expressing yourself. No one's going to judge you. Oh my gosh, I was just blown away. They were fantastic. And you know, the audience response has been brilliant. What the guys did up here, I don't know. I'm not kind of speechless, which is unusual for me. Um, but I just think everybody has done such an amazing job. And funny enough, what Linda was saying, which is so true, is that it's more more, nice. It's more than just be an actor for a day. Because there are other things that are happening. You're unlocking certain fears you might have. You're meeting other fabulous people. You're going out on a limb. You're out of your comfort zone. It's all of that and more. So I am so happy. I just thought the performances were fabulous. Yeah.